and welcome back. I have gone over to that little island over there and explored around, and it's fairly small, kind of unremarkable, no trees or anything on it. And so, since I also can't see any other land in this area, I'm thinking what I'm going to do is I'm going to head back down here, and I'm going to see if, well, where that portal takes me in the nether. Because it's going to take me another, somewhere in the nether, but the question is where. Now, I have enlarged the room back here a little bit, lit it up better, and there seems to be an odd bit of lighting glitch here because the water doesn't show up, but it's there. The portal is obviously lit. You can see the particle effect, but you can't see the water. So I'm not sure what that's all about, but I want to see where this portal takes me into the nether. It should be somewhere close to the gold farm. Well, how about that? In the gold farm. Okay, first step is to move this portal. Alright. And light the sucker up. Confirm that it still links up with the other one. It should. Didn't move it very far. Hello. I'm not seeing anything. It appeared in a different place. Apparently that was far enough to make it vastly different. Alright, let's block off or get rid of this water. Alright, that's, that's fine. Actually, it might be a problem. But uh, I think we can deal with it. If it's necessary to have a portal in the uh, drop area there, then fine. Nobody invited you. Oh, we have a spawner. How nice. All right. Spawner deactivated. Eh, nothing really remarkable in there. Well, I guess I'll grab the food. And the iron. All right, not going to worry about it. Just make sure the local area is lit. That's enough for now. Okay. I guess a good test of whether the uh, other the on top of the Nether portal will link back to this one would be to go back on top of the Nether and see. I'll take a few of these with me to fix that hole, and let's just go. Fix the hole in the floor first. There. 
And for the moment, I'm going to take these down. I may use them, I may not, but I really don't want the zombie pigmen spawning in this level. So, take them down for the moment. And now, let's head up topside. And see if that portal on top of the nether links to the same place it did before, or if it links to the newly located portal. Okay. Just ender pearl up here. Okay. Here we are up here. Let's see if this one links to the same one it did before, or if it links to the newly located one. Okay, it links to the same place here. That means this one should probably cause a new portal to appear. Oh, it links to this one coming back. Okay, good. Excellent. Now, let's see. What have I got plenty of? Okay, I don't need the nether rack, I don't think. Uh, let's see. Just grab the cobblestone. And I suppose that'll be a decent start. Uh, I'm going to grab some of these half slabs and some pistons, tripwire hooks, and some string. Make sure I have a full stack of torches and Let's see I don't well yeah the redstone. Stack of redstone. Some ladders. I've got some wood. Make sure I have a whole stack. Alright. Heading out. Up and out, as it were. Now, I am going to continue working on this gold farm in the nether, but I think for the time being, I'm going to switch my attention to building one on top of the nether, just simply because I think it's going to be possible to have some really good spawn rates up there. And I'll continue the project down below here in anticipation of the likelihood that eventually whatever it is that's making it possible to do this will be fixed. So eventually it probably won't be possible to get back up on top of the nether like this. But for the time being, while it is possible, I see no reason not to take advantage of it. Okay, there we go. All right. Okay, now, just a matter of doing some building. And I figured, let's see, we need to be, if we're 144 blocks up, then any spawning that happens will be inside, well, actually on top of the nether like this. And so the first thing I need to do don't want anything spawning up out in this area, so we'll half slab on top of the portal. And all right. So I think I'm just going to head over here. Let's see. Start out by going 128 blocks straight up. I always use ender pearls to get back down. Actually, I should go ahead and make a workbench. And get some more ladders made. See, you can still hear the ghasts and critters in the nether. 
because they're not all that far below us. Hmm. gold and iron I picked up out of that cave. Oh, right. Now, 128 blocks up. Well, I don't have 128 blocks worth of ladders, do I? Oh, right. I've uh, got some more ladders put together. I've got enough here to get started, at least. It'll take two stacks plus 16 to get... Uh, exactly 144 blocks above the surface. So, I'm going to go ahead and go for that. Get our initial platform up that high. I'm just going to build it up and then place ladders on the way down. Okay, I'm at 256, and that's the build limit. So, I'm meaning I can't put anything any higher. All right. Actually... I'm just going to ender pearl back down and uh, put the ladders up normally. And this trap, what I'll be doing is building it from the top down, apparently. Oh. And I suppose I should have turned my brightness up. That'll have to wait until I get off of this ladder. There, that's better. And you can see down there the bedrock ceiling in the nether. All right. Obviously don't need the ladders anymore. All right, uh, let's see what's the best way to go about doing this. Not 100% certain here. I have to take a few minutes to think about this, and I'll be back. Okay, I've had some time to think about this a little bit, and I think what I'm going to do here is now, in that uh, tripwire design, two block high mobs, the thing is a grand total of, uh, I believe, three blocks high per floor. So I'm going to dig down three here. And then I'm going to just uh, come over. like so, and then another row over here, and then build that up to Let's see, my half slabs, tripwire hooks, string, redstone dust, cobblestone available. Oh, and pistons. All right, so tripwire hook here. A block there. 
redstone on it. Block there. No, not there. On the edge, like so. Yeah. All right, now. One, two. All right. That work. Redstone on here. Tripwire hook there. Pistons along here. Redstone along the top. And then a bit of a safety measure here. Fill this row, actually two rows in like this. Well, no, one will do. One will do nicely. All right. And then this is another spawning layer. And let's have a little bit of light in here. And I think we can have light permanently in here because light levels do not matter for zombie pigmen spawns. All right, now here, directly opposite this, more pistons. No, 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 no. Not like that. I can't tell you how unnerving that was when the lighting goes like that. All right, I need another row like this. To put the pistons on. No. All right, now here, like so, block here, redstone. And just duplicate what's on that side. Okay, now slab on top of these corners, pistons down here, if I can learn to aim properly, all right, and now string down both sides. Okay, then all we have to do is tear out this middle row of blocks. And see, the system is quite effective.
Now I am going to go ahead and leave a few torches on here just for the heck of it. Let's put a slab on that, so nothing spawns on it. And actually come to think of it, get the ladders back out. This is crazy. I'm standing on the edge of a ladder here. Okay, I guess I'm going down. There. Hello. I'm going to put slabs on top of these. And I should have done the same thing on the other side, so that means I have to put these blocks back and go back out there to do that. Oh, and this the matter of spawning on top of that redstone. Although, I think, no, if there's room for me to walk there, there's room for them to spawn on it. Alright, so, half slabs there and there. I can't place anything there, so I guess there isn't room for spawning. I'm going to have to assume that anyway. And yes, the mechanism is quite effective. All right, and now I head down and pick up the mess that I dropped down there and see if we get any spawning out of just a single layer like that. Probably not. I'll have to build several more layers on there for it to really be effective. But it's a start. Strange pattern in the graphics from this repeating bedrock texture. Looks really kind of weird. Theoretically, there should be spawns up there. And I'm going to hang out a little bit and wait and see. All right. Since the last clip, it's now the next day. I uh, expanded this thing down several more levels and I think there's like five spawning floors on it now well no three uh, there are four spawning levels on here right now and there are occasional spawns but they are very occasional I tried making platforms both here and down there part way up to see if 
me being a little bit closer to the thing would improve spawns, but it doesn't seem to have been made much of a difference. And, uh, well, let me go ahead and get down there a little faster. And let's see. That's my total take of uh, loot from this thing so far. And that's with me hanging around here for the better part of three or four hours, both uh, off camera and some of the time that I worked on the stream, uh, on my live stream working on this. And it doesn't seem to be like it's going to be performing all that super well. At least that's what it looks like so far. Meanwhile, back in the other one, in the nether, actually in the nether, it seems to be progressing reasonably. I've gotten the construction on this one up to where there are now Ten spawning floors. Still getting a certain amount of lag here. And by the way, I have updated to 1.4.2. Running it without Optifine right now because they haven't had time to update it to that. And with the ten spawning floors, it seems to be starting to work a little bit. There are, of course, thousands upon thousands of spawnable spaces out there. But as you can see, we have an occasional guest. Guests that frequently don't bring anything to the party, which is quite rude of them. And anyway, so I also decided to uh, go along with a suggestion from Azariah Z that he left in the comments to use glass blocks here and let the lava provide lighting, and if I turn the lighting down to where I'd normally keep it, it looks pretty good. I like it. I may rearrange it a little bit so that it's symmetrical. I kind of threw that together, but I like the overall look, so I will probably use it. And uh, other than that, work is progressing. I'm going to be doing more work on this thing off camera and get it built all the way up to the ceiling. And at this point, I am seriously starting to consider the idea of tearing down that one I'm building on top of the ceiling and recovering my resources to use in this one. And uh, I think I will probably do that. Uh, not quite decided yet, but more than likely. In the meantime, this video is uh, already getting longer than I expected it to and it's taken me a day and a half to record it. So I'm going to go ahead and get this done and get it rendered and uploaded and start doing some more work and I'll catch you in the next episode for the progress and update on this gold farming project. Thanks for watching. Take it easy. I'm out here.